In this video, we're going to look at the function and power tests in the SMFT-1000. This is the screen you see when you first switch to that test. We have the power measurement here. This is set for a split phase power measurement. What we do is we can go to the info button and see how to set this up. We connect the voltage probes and the current clamp on the DC side. We'll take a measurement there. And then we will move to the AC side and measure the current and voltage there. And the SMFT-1000 will compare the two and give you the inverter efficiency. In this screen, what we'll do is we hook our probes up and then we'll hit the test button. We would see voltage and current come up there. And then we would hit the F3 hold button. And that's going to hold the DC measurement. We're going to move our probes to the AC side. We'll hit the test button again, and then our AC volts and AC current will come up, and it will calculate power on both sides. And then right where it says measure DC side, it would give you the inverter efficiency. If we hit the up arrow, we can use this to test a three-phase system. And again, going to the info button is going to show us how to set that up. The DC side is the same. When we go to the AC side, we're going to put the red lead on L1 and then the blue lead on the neutral and our current clamp on L1. AC output of inverters, the voltage and the current on each of the legs should be the same, which is how we can calculate the three phase power. Um, everything else is going to be the same on here. We can switch back to single phase. Another thing that we can do here is we can set our limit. If I push the down arrow, this is going to say whether the rating of the efficiency is a pass or fail. That's it. Um, most modern inverters are in above 90% efficiency. Um, some off-grid inverters are going to be less than that, so you can set that. And again, it simply affects whether you're going to get a pass or a fail on the uh, in the device and on the true test software. The other thing we can do in this screen is go to voltage and current. And anytime you see small options next to a function button, that means you can push the function button to toggle between the two. So if I push it once, it's going to go to voltage. This will give me the live voltage reading of my probes on whatever I'm testing. Obviously, I don't have anything hooked up right now, so it's seeing zero volts. If I hit the F2 button again, it will give me the current reading from my clamp. Now, the thing you need to do with the current clamp that comes with the SMFT, first off, make sure you turn it on. I've made that mistake before. So turn the clamp on, go to this current setting and use the dial on the current clamp to zero that clamp out. Um, obviously, I don't have a current clamp hooked up. It's not zeroed, so I'm getting a false reading here. Then I can go back to power and I can rerun my test using the test button, knowing that I have zeroed out my current clamp. That's an important to do before conducting the test. So great way to measure inverter efficiency and to see our voltage and current on both the DC side and the AC side. Thank you very much.